One of the craziest scores, like, I've been thrifting for like 10 years, thrifting and, and flea marketing and garage selling, and you'd be lucky if you come across one of these shirts. Pickers, we are here, and we are going to show you something. You're about to see the unveiling of a concert t-shirt haul that we got in a storage unit. We got professional t-shirt man, Matt Romero, in the house. What's going on, y'all? And so we're going to show you some of the concert shirts that we found. Oh, my God. You guys tell us if they're good. Matt will tell us if they're good, but you guys in the comments, if you like them, leave us a comment because this is going to get crazy. We're going to pull out some Marilyn Manson shirts, some rare ones. Rare shirts that sell for 600 plus. He's in the news right now for some questionable things, and uh, it's no good. It's no good. I don't know what that does to the value. We're just going to speak on these shirts on, on the, the current value. Uh, we're diving into these concert t-shirts, and guys, there are some bangers. This has to be probably the second best overall haul that I've ever seen in person. I mean, I've seen a lot online, um, but to find this amount of what is in here all together, all in really good condition too, is, is crazy. Um, Justin touched on it. There are some uh, pieces in here from uh, Marilyn Manson. We don't condone it. I don't condone it. I don't think anybody condones um, what, what the accusations are, uh, but there is value here, there is fans, there are people who um, appreciated his music. Other than that, we're just gonna touch on the shirts and the value and the rarity of the shirts themselves. So, let's dive into it. So, a lot of these are these uh, hard rock shirts, metal shirts. I think that's Cold Chamber. This is Cold Chamber, this is a loco, so this has Machine Head, Ooh. Slipknot on there. Who else? Amen. Nasty. I think there's a couple of these in here. What year is this T? This is a 99. This is the size that you want to. Extra large. Really good condition. Just money. This next one here coming up. I told Justin to a lot of these Nightmare Tim Burton tees do really good. Justin got a couple. Um, these are all Tim Burton tees right here. These are new in the these are new in the package. These are newer. But uh, this tee right here, I think does really well. That's a men's brand new. This one right here is another men's. Tim Burton brand new, Nightmare. This one, Tim Burton, Nightmare Before Christmas, boom. This is, uh, this is a dope one too. More Nightmare, there's a hoodie right there. Now let's get back into this right here. Let's see, what do we want to pull first? Everything that I pull out is going to be absolute fire. I think this is a nine inch nails. Oh yeah. Right from the jump, the downward spiral. Look at that. I think there's multiple nine inch nails in here. 94, 94 yeah. Halo 8, J Artist on the All Sport. A lot of your concert tees are gonna be on that All Sport. Size extra large, exact size you're looking for on resale money i think this is what two 200 bucks it's easy two, to 250 yeah money. yep clean that up this one was i think this was two plus this is fire yeah corn the 40s wow this is dead stock too and yeah, that one looks really clean never been worn on a marina tag oh this shirt is insane this shirt is fire. We couldn't find this color of this shirt. Just finding this shirt was tricky, but finding this color, I got a feeling that's gonna be a super, super rare piece. The color of it and the 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 red of his name. A lot of the ones that we saw had the Maryland or the Manson up here, um, and they're black, so you don't really see the purple. Um, it's an extra large suit and the back hit. One ninety five. Boom, all the tour dates. These tees right here, when when Justin told me what he had, I didn't, I didn't believe him. <laughs> he sent me a picture, I still didn't believe it, I had to rub my <laughs> eyes. But these tees have really skyrocketed in price. Again, I touched on, um, on it earlier, but we're just talking about the actual rarity of the t-shirts and the condition of them. This is just insane, insane. Look at that graphic. Super clean. It's like they barely wore that one. This one, this one was like four, wasn't it? Four or five? Yeah, that's a that's a big one. I think most of the Manson stuff was like 
three plus up to six plus. Ninety nine. Yeah. On the on the Winterland, another famous concert um, concert brand T. That one was uh was pretty monstrous money yes. too. Insane with the gold flake print. The Antichrist. They had multiple an there's multiple Antichrist tees in here. Yeah. There's the Winterland tag again with the crazy, crazy back hit. What do we got here? Cold Chamber? Yeah. So that one was pushing twos, I think, also. Yeah. Look at this. Crazy cool colors, crazy cool graphic on the back. Still in good shape, too. Yeah, really good shape. None of these T or none of the ones we've gone through so far are like super faded, no holes, no rips either. Um, looks like kind of maybe the guy grabbed it one time at the show. Yeah. Wore it maybe, and that was it. This shirt is fire. This one we just pulled out of the other pile. I must have missed it, but Earth Crisis. I don't know the value on it, but I know. Um, I remember that band. Oh, it's got a Victory Records patch on the on the, on the sleeve. Here. Yeah. And Victory Records, those of you who don't know, one of my favorite bands, Catch-22, that came, became a Streetlight Manifesto, they were on Victory, so that hits home for me. It doesn't stop here. The fire is going to keep coming. Whew. Yeah, that's one of those ones. Wow. Very graphic. Insane. Yeah, that one's graphic. This one is dead stock, too, with the glitter print. You can see it's just insane. Old Hanes. This is a large on the smaller side uh, but this was in a very crooked number and very high yeah high high price nine inch nails again oh yeah all sport extra large and that's the size we want right that's the size you want right there man perfect and and some people like the crazy graphics and everything other people is just like a really small nice little subtle hit uh, but this shirt is Crazy, crazy too. Um, I, 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 somebody amass all these shirts. Cradle of Filth. So that's this gonna be a rare one. Is crazy. I saw some of these Cradle of Filth. Yeah. There's there's a couple of different graphics that they do, um, but again, what like six, five, four, five hundred dollars? They can be up there. Yeah. You know, they probably made less of those than Manson did, just because they weren't as big of a band. So you're adding to rarity, and, and then this is long sleeve. Oh, that would have been nice. Blue grape tag. Wait till I show you the back. Oh, it's coming. That's a nice big print, this too. Is, this is an awesome shirt right here. Watch this. Oh. <laughs> Machine gun woman with the wolf. <laughs> Look at that. I am the god. This is a Maryland, too, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's, that's a rare one, too. Yeah. Single stitch, man. Crazy. This one, too. How many Maryland's do you got, bro? There's a lot. Whew. Might as well. So, you're already dead. 98. 98. He's got his own stamp down there. 1998 Maryland Manson, man. This is on the Winterland, too. My little casket in the back there. Crazy. This one's got a really nice fade. So I was saying, some people like like a, a a shirt that's got a fade. It looks worn. It looks like it's been through, been through the ringer a little bit. Um, but still, no cracking on this graphic at all. Like, just the 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 shape of these shirts is, because you know what happened at those concerts. Mosh pits, <laughs> <laughs> sweat. There's a Maryland. Getting hot in here. I don't know if it's the shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we don't approve of uh, all of these things, but <laughs> we're just here to show off Justin's finds. Yeah, they 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 exist, and we find everything. You guys know we find everything on these channel on these treasure hunting channels, and this is one thing we found. This is from a $2,400 storage unit full of video games, and these shirts came out of garbage bags, and Mega they stayed Cradle. this nice. That's a think, nice. I don't think I've seen this one, Cradle of Filth. No, they're trying to imitate, I can't remember her name, but it was a, a princess or a queen that would bathe in the blood of her servants. Apparently it's a true story. 
It, it's some crazy story. I was watching some. There's some girl who does that now. Jesus. I swear. <laughs> we'll get to more lighthearted. <laughs> bon Jovi yeah. on a tie-dye. There's some Bon Jovi. You know why I'm excited and, about and this? And this one is Have a Nice Day. <laughs> I'll tell you guys why I'm excited about this. I like that back slap. The reason I'm excited about this t-shirt is because now that we filmed it, I'm going to take it home and wear it. Yeah. Yes, I am. Bon Jovi is good. I'm, I'm, I'm putting that in my backpack today. Bon Jovi is good. You know why I like this one, Matt? Because it reminds me of the one that Pirate. Pirate got you. Yeah. It, does, it looks exactly like those tie-dyes. This is probably a... We, pro, we think it's probably a parking lot special, too, huh? I don't know, man. That The way that... the way That's a big screen print graphic. And that'd be wasteful if you were a bootlegger. And, and you'd have to have, like, all your screen set up. See how all those different colors? That That's a... That's a an extensive process to print that shirt. So this might have been a tour shirt. shirt. I think that's a tour shirt. Yeah. And it's on the lighthearted yeah. <laughs> shirts. Now we'll get back into the... The devil. The devil. <laughs> the <dark side. laughs> There's another Manson dude stitched in there. Long sleeve. It's hard to see, guys, but it says his name in there in black. black. This one was rare, too. Yep. On the Toltecs. Long sleeve. I know there's some crazy Manson collectors out there. Um, hopefully they watch this and they and they hit up Justin and say, hey, I need that. Yeah. For sure. So what are we on, like seven Mansons already or something? At it's least. Crazy. This one I know is up there. Like there was a couple for seven, eight hundred dollars. Yeah, seven, eight hundred bucks on this one. And the print's still there. It looks nice. That That might be the rarest one next to the one we're going to show... There's a long sleeve in here that is kind of a grail. But that's probably the second rarest uh, Manson shirt. Again, what a weird time to find his stuff due to the allegations, but we're just going to show you I'm what they are. And it's an XL. No flaws, no holes, single stitch, fire, fire shirt. Crazy piece. Could you believe that a shirt would sell for seven hundred? <laughs> Crazy. Here's another Manson. I know they reprint this one. This is not a reprint right here. Whew. Look at that. It's on that Hanes. Classic looking. This is your world in which we grow and we will grow to hate you. Not me, him. Yeah. But this shirt is insane. Like I said, I know I've seen reprints at Hot Topic. Yeah. This is not a reprint. This is not a reprint. Crazy. A little lighter side. A little <laughs> bit here. But a, a Def Leppard right here. What year? We got a year down here. 2002 Def Leppard. Real cool. On a giant tag. Another famous tag for concert shirts. What size is that bad boy? This looks like a, a large. I might wear that one too. I'm not seeing the little size tag is cut out of there, but if I had to guess, I would say medium large. Okay. That's I probably cool. won't fit it, but I like that. I like that band a lot. That one's cool. I didn't even see. I didn't see this one too. It's another Bon Jovi. We're keeping it light now. We're going in. <laughs> <laughs> one wild night. This guy. This guy's taste is all over. <laughs> I think there was like the husband and the wife, uh -huh. and one of them was into some heavy stuff, and the other one was into some rock. So I think the, the, that shirt is real because this one, this one is legit, dude. 2001 Bon Jovi tour. It's got a little date stamp down here. That one looks like they didn't wear it either. Yeah, this is dead stock for sure. What we got here, another Marilyn. Come on. But he's, it's a, it's a play on spelling and on words, but. Um, Crazy. I don't think I looked that one up at all. I don't, I don't think I've seen this one. I don't think you sent me this one. Um, what does it say on the sleeves? It says... Trick or Treat Tour. Tour 97. 97. That could be something. I think, this, I think this is something. We'll have to look that one up. Yeah, we'll try to look that one up. Did it have a piece? Oh, it said Burn Baby Burn. Burn Baby Burn. Okay. This one was pushing three, I think. Yeah. On the hoodie, too? Yeah. Crazy. Loco cold chamber in great condition. Mm -hmm. See what tag it's on. 
on an old jerseys. This one <laughs> actually sells for money. I know. I was so surprised. I have um, I have a Tommy Kermit. <laughs> I, think, I think mine has all three. I has Kermit, Miss Piggy, and them, and they're all in t in Tommy Hill figure. Nice. Like like the jeans and stuff. That's a dead stock for sure. Yeah, for sure. I bet this is what 70, 80 bucks. It's up there. Yeah. I was shocked when I saw sold prices. On the of changes that. tag too, XL, and this color is cool too. I like that a lot. Single stitch, boom boom. This one we pulled out just now. We found it in the pile. And I think it, yeah, it's like, it's like a radio shirt, but it's that's got to be pretty rare. Mm -hmm. Well, probably a one night thing. Yeah, it looks like they played here in '96. It was like a radio, uh, you know how the radio stations would put on a put on a show. Yep. Oh, I mean, I didn't even see that ghost. There's ghosted numbers. Yeah, '96. Ooh. There. In the back, Nine Inch Nails, Marilyn. Meat Beat Manifesto. There's a band name. <laughs> These just keep coming. Yeah, that's a good one. They keep coming. Again, they reprint this shirt. This one is not a reprint. Look, it, you can hear the screen print. They don't sound like this anymore. Son of Mark Athletic. Wow. Old school. Crazy. This one, I, this was probably my favorite that Justin sent me. This is a grail this, for many. This is my, this is insane right here. 1994. Nine Inch Nails, baby. Crazy. On the Hanes Beefy. Extra large. I like this color, too, I think. That's yeah. What, I, what would you call it? Like light greenish? It's like an olive, maybe. Yeah. Something like, like a tan olive. Like an olive that's been in the sun all day. <laughs> insane. This shirt is fire. Yeah, that's, I think, 250 easy. 300 probably on mm -hmm. that one. Because of the size, I think. Yeah. Single stitch. There's a single stitch on the bottom. Single stitch all the way around. Whee! Jeez, Louise. If you look, some of the individual shirts are going for crazy, crazy yeah. money. They don't, and they're not available often, and especially in the sizes that he has, yep. too. So. This one, too, was big money. This mm -hmm. one was big money. The downward crazy. spiral. Look at the back. Whew! Nice, huge print. Yeah, it's a big shirt. I think that's a five, six hundred dollars shirt. I could yeah. be wrong. I'm I, gonna... I, I think it was. I think it was close to that, dude. This one and then that other one, yep. the centipede or the millipede. That one too is up there. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Back to the dark side. Mm-hmm. I think that other Whee! shirt is. I think that other shirt is Slipknot too. Nasty, in a good way. Yeah. Crazy. Look at the old Toltex tag. It's relevant today with people in, in a barcode and Yeah. Another one? Is it the same one? <laughs> Different one. This one. It's sounding better. Oh man. Oh, there's a nice graphic. Look at the that. Clown. Is the, is the year legible on that Crazy. one? Crazy. This is 99. Whoo! So 22 years old? On the blue. This is licensed by the Blue Grape. Yep, Blue Grape. 22 years old. This is on a Toltex too, though. So that's original. Yep. We'll go back a little bit to the lighter side here. Does it show you what that is? Aerosmith? World Tour? Steven Tyler, this one's got a date too, 97, on a giant. Look at this old giant tag. The amount of shirts worth crooked numbers is insane here. And we're getting down to it, probably got about seven shirts left. Um, right here, we'll jump into it with the Dio. The Grim Reapers almost. Definitely a later Dio, but not like a, not like a, not an eighties Dio. Not yeah, an 80s no. Dio for sure. This is a this is a mid nineties Dio. Ronnie James Dio. Let's see. Ooh, ooh. That's a nice one. That's from the concert. Mm hmm. Let's see our license year two thousand. 
Same thing, blue grape. Man. And the dates? This is 2000 with all your dates. They didn't and come all here. Your, all your cities. <clears throat> they skipped us. Oh, San Bernardino, I guess that's the Cali date. That's a sick shirt too. Yes, Deftones, sir. baby. This is a fire shirt. Toltex, extra large. Subtle little hit. Nothing on the back. Nasty. Dude. Here we back to the Maryland. This is a cool one too. I think I've seen some of these, but I don't know if I've seen them in the purple. It was more like a white. We'll have to investigate. Here's tag here. No tag. Oh no, it's got it's not a tag. That was the back. This is not bootleg. It's on a Tennessee River. That's very nice. The play on the Salvation Army. Yeah. I almost didn't put that shirt in this box. I thought it was a Salvation Army shirt. <laughs> they fooled me. I bet this is I bet this is a very crooked number two. Okay. A, a 450 to 550 sold on. Whew. This might be like a little 10 grand pile. <laughs> I think it is a 10 I grand pile. So, bro. This pile is killing the whole other pile. Individually. Man. Back with the nine inch nails. Oh, nice. That one's clean. Mm hmm. Doesn't look like any cracking or anything on that one. This is the first time I'm seeing the shirt. So I'm seeing the shirts <laughs> in person and getting to touch them. So, um,. I'm examining as you are on the all sport, extra large, great size, nasty. That's a cool one. Mm -hmm. Yep, 1997. Whew. Crazy. So I think there's two more shirts in here. Both of them are insane Maryland pieces. Um, I believe, yes. So this, we'll start with this one right here. This is like that purple graphic that we showed you here on the Antichrist where he's got the wings um, and with the Manson in red. The other one, the purple one, is up, up, top in white, up, up top in the white. If you've seen that shirt or couldn't link us or want to buy that shirt, you need to hit up Justin. This was on a Fruit of the Loom. Look, the front tag is cut on an extra large. I think this is 96 if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. All right, this is the the final shirt of what we pulled out right here, and this is uh, probably the most valuable shirt that we've seen. I maybe, think so. Maybe the maybe the, the Jesus three one. Jesuses too. Yeah, that one is is crazy. Holy Grail, I believe, of, yeah. one, of Manson. I mean, I know there's some crazy, you know, face graphics and stuff like that, but of the actual tour shirts, this is what you're looking for right here. Look at this old gilding tag. Old Gildan stitch tag. Sleeve hits right here. No forgiveness on this sleeve. What do we got here? No salvation. Again. Crazy wording. Crazy. They kept that one pretty nice too. Crazy. There's some crackle in the... This right here is like... I talked about the fade a little bit, but like the fade that this shirt has is what is in my book. I would prefer this any day over a, a over like a dead stock okay, good. shirt for sure. Man, there was there was dirty versions of this going for six plus. And and were they long sleeve? I didn't see the yeah were long sleeves. Yeah, but this is the one that even though some I think some might have more resale value. I believe this is the most hunted shirt. Well, the colors are crazy. And the dude. long sleeve. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's the feedback that everyone was giving me. Is like, that is incredibly Man. difficult to find. Forget I'm going to have to go um, take a shower in holy water. <laughs> this is done. No, I'm just kidding. That was really good. Thank you so much, Matt. <laughs> now, if you guys are, if this video is on its own, you guys got to remember, Matt came and we did this whole pile of vintage. There's vintage behind him. We did... We did a bunch of stuff, a, a couple other videos. So if you're seeing this rock video and you like what we found, there's at least two other videos of shirts that we went through before this. This is all from the same storage unit. This video is just gonna show you the heavy metal stuff, but if you like vintage clothes, this is a pile of keepers. There's some clothes over there. We went, we went through a ton of stuff, so.
you want to buy any of this stuff right here, I think it's all for sale, right, Justin? Now that we filmed it, I need to get rid of all I of it. I think it's all going to go. and Except for this. The Bon Jovi. The, the best. <laughs> I'm going to keep the Bon Jovi. And, I, and I'm going to snag the I'm gonna snag the J. Will. Yeah. Justin. That's a sure. partial payment in so, my gratitude for him coming and doing this. This right here is, again, one of the craziest scores. Like, I've been thrifting for like 10 years, thrifting and, and flea marketing and garage sailing. And you'd be lucky if you come across one of these shirts. Yeah. So, um for him to find all this, it's it's meant to be because he's a good he's a good person. You are all good people, and thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Pickers, holy crap, we did it! Matt Romero, make sure to follow him. Unbelievable uh, concert hall. I think we found easy ten thousand bucks in shirts, um, probably more. Some of those shirts was six, seven, eight hundred bucks on their own. So, uh, what a score! And if you didn't know. We did a filming for a bunch of other stuff that's not concert shirts. Sports, vintage, Looney Tunes, Disney. A bunch of other stuff came out of this same $2,400 storage unit. And there's other videos, maybe before or after this one. But look around on the channel, subscribe, check out Matt, check me out, leave a thumbs up, say something pretty in the comments. We'll see you next time. We buy storages, loving them fresh oranges. Some of the best, sexiest hair since Zach Morris's. So saddle up and take a ride with me. We find a treasure today. A Pickers Warehouse TV.